Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be doing your shell readings uh, for this month. So let's see what Spirit has for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of August 2020. Happy birthday to you Leos out there. Let's see, Spirit, what are the messages? What are the messages? All right, my lovely Leos. I see you guys shining. You guys are definitely going to be getting a lot of attention. I feel that there is a uh, burst of energy that's coming to you guys. You guys may actually be feeling this already. It's almost like, you know, some of you guys could have been experiencing um, a bit of fatigue or a, big, a bit of feeling like not really feeling like yourself. Uh, there was highs and lows in regards to your energy, but I definitely see you guys almost feeling like you're being reborn. Um, the sun is shining and is shining bright on you, Leo. Um, now I do see, like I said, for those of you guys that um, have been single for quite a while now, I do see that there is new opportunities and new suitors coming your way. Um, you're right at the center so it's like everyone is going to be paying attention to you or listening to you they're taking notice of you for this month of august now what they are saying here is it's time for you to speak up leo and this is in every single aspect of your life whether it's in business whether it's in your professional sector whether it's in love and romance uh friends family every single aspect what they're saying is there is a need for you to take a stand a stance for yourself so this could actually be um almost like if you've been you know suppressing a lot of emotions or if you've been holding back because you don't want to uh you know rub people the wrong way or you don't want them to see you a certain way uh, i think that you've been put in a situation where uh, people often you know or you've been experiencing experiencing this for quite a while where you feel like people are taking you for granted now this could be like i said in every single aspect but they're directly speaking about your professional life so for those of you guys that have been working with a company for a very long time i see you guys like really frustrated like really uh you know people not really putting attention or paying attention to everything that you do what they're saying is you need to stop doing for other people and start doing for yourself, Leo. So this includes, um, like I said, standing up for yourself, speaking up, saying truth, like being truthful to yourself. When you feel like you need to speak up because people are being mistreated or they're not being appreciated, uh, you need to start, you know, speaking up in regards to that because I feel that this is a pattern and that's what's holding you back so in retrospect what i what they're saying here is that the only one that's holding yourself back at this point right now in this very point in time is yourself leo uh and what they're saying is that you know you, people need to hear you they need to hear what you have to say this could even be in relationships as well if you've been suppressing certain things because you don't want to rough their feathers or you don't want to get on your partner's bad side um, suppressing is not helping you're just putting you know pushing things and sweeping them under the rug and at some point you need to address it because if you don't things will continuously keep piling up so you need to speak up now take your power back um, I know that you know Leos have this fierce type of energy this fierce type of temper but I think that because you guys have that type of uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Because you guys have that, uh, people are, people know you for that. I think that th the thing here, what they're saying is that I don't need, I, I feel like, I feel like you're telling me I don't need to be told to speak up because you usually are not the type to bite your tongue because of your temper. But what they're saying here is that you've been very passive for too long. So it's either something has happened where it's it's affected either your confidence or it's affected like there is some type of fear connected to to what's going on in the situation. Like I said, this could be relationships. 
this could be a work this could be family but what they're saying is that you've become so passive that people just keep pushing your buttons and keep pushing them and keep pushing them when do you get to the point of saying enough is enough now is the point now is the time so you need to speak up you need to stand up for yourself leo okay all right i'm going to be pulling out three cards here let's see what your energies or the energies influencing you for this month all right so you have venus you have uh chiron and you have aquarius so you may be dealing with a libra you may also be dealing uh with an aquarius now it doesn't necessarily have to be a person per se but you can be taking on these energies um so for like i said for those of you guys that are single i do see love surrounding you i do see people trying to give you more attention or trying to get to know you i see people coming towards you um so again it's almost the feeling like you're going to be very magnet uh very magnetism uh energy is going to be very amplified uh venus represents love beauty harmony romance charm receiving sensuality luxury wealth diplomacy magnetism value pleasure adornment adoration attraction indulgence taste and style so these are the energies that are going to be influencing you for this month you also have chiron healing energy healing powers growth amends release personal development inherited issues self-doubt generation trauma shame sensitivity forgiveness superpowers divinity cleansing softness pain so i think that with this energy they're speaking about uh, the the passive the passive side of you leo i think that it's been going on for quite a while the softness is something that you do possess and i think that leos are when genuinely committed to a cause or, or to a person uh, you guys are extremely loyal extremely nothing will weather that love or that uh, commitment that you have and what they're saying here is that there is a lot of healing that is happening right now with you there is a lot of releasing um, so again they are speaking here about healing maybe for some of you guys it's healing from a libra type of energy or an aquarius type of energy but what they're saying is uh, there has been some type of uh, doubt or something that has moved you to kind of self-doubt yourself and what they're telling you here is you need to stop doing that uh, leo you need to really tap into that lion or to that lioness that is within you and empower yourself and speak up and stand for yourself and be fierce uh, let go of doubt or fears and the aquarius energy the innovator uh, experimental rational unique liberal electric uh, group oriented humanitarian free radical eccentric diverse uh, i think all of these are energies that you need to take on uh, be a little bit more free be a little bit more in control uh, sorry not in control be a little bit more spontaneous be a little bit more do things that you don't have a tendency of doing um, other than if anything uh, to release and bring to you new energies and new opportunities um, what they're saying here is innovator so stop doing what you've been doing up until <laughs> this point and start doing things a little bit different or be more spontaneous um flirt once in a while Th there's nothing wrong with that tap into that flirtatious type of energy um to shake yourself up don't be so rigid and this is definitely not a you know leos are not there you don't have a tendency of being rigid but i feel that at some point you've kind of fallen into the everyday routine and it's important to shake that up for you guys okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this reading, like, share, and comment, and we'll see each other soon. Bye.